Hi, it's Kimberly at The Property Man and I have the absolute pleasure today of showing you this stunning four bedroom extended Victorian semi-detached on Park Road in Sale. So as we all know, Park Road has one of the most popular primary schools located on here. We are close to Ashton on Mersey Village, a stone's throw from Sale Town Centre and also Ashton Park and an abundance of amenities on our doorstep as well. So as you can see to the front here, we have ample off-road parking for several cars. We have a detached garage there, which has mains power running to it and gated access to the garden, which I will show you once we have had our internal tour. So let's head on inside and see what this beautiful property has to offer. So as we enter, you can see we have a beautifully presented entrance hall. We've got original flooring throughout the entrance hall and also our living room. The current owner has put all this gorgeous panelling, which is very in keeping with the age of property. And we also have some cast iron, again, very Victorian, in keeping with the age of property radiators, which also are throughout as well. So we've got ceiling rows here, which is a replica, but we do have original coving in here as well. So we've got great ceiling heights throughout. And just, just let me show you the rest of this property. It's absolutely stunning. So immediately on our right here, we have our main living room. So we've got nice big bay window to the front there. Again, great ceiling heights in here. We've got the coving. We've got the replica ceiling rows in here. As you can see, we've got the two Victorian cast iron radiators and we've got that gorgeous fireplace there as well. So ornate surround and we've got the, again, cast iron grate in there as well. Okay. Original flooring in here. So what I'll do is I'll give you a couple of different angles of each room and then you can get a real sense of the property that we have on offer here. So this is an absolutely fantastic family home with heaps of space over four floors. We've got cellars, we've got our living space on our ground floor, and then we've got two floors with bedrooms and bathrooms as well. So then we enter into what is definitely my favourite room, and that is our open plan living area. So just before we do, just to note here that again, we've got the glass panels in the door leading there just to allow that flow of natural light into the entrance hall. And then this is where we get our wow factor. Look at this space. We've got space for dining, We've got our kitchen area with a really large island unit there, plenty of storage, plenty of space for sitting. And then we've also got enough space, ample space for a full living area as well. So we've got these gorgeous large tiled floor here. Um, so it is all underfloor heated in here as well. We've got uh, three Velux skylights there which are electronic and they do have the blinds in there as well all ceiling spotlights as you can see kitchen's gorgeous we've got quartz worktop we've got a range of integral appliances so we've got fridge freezer we've got the wine fridge very important uh, we have on this side again plenty of storage and we've got our dishwasher we've got double oven um, with microwave five ring, uh, Neff hub, and also extractor as well. And again, I'm just an absolute fan of the, uh, the brick slip as well. I really do like a feature wall like that. And as you can see, we've got the bifolds. I've got them open today and that just spills onto a porcelain raised patio area. We've got the glass balustrade there as well. And it just overlooks the garden. And as you can see, it's really super private, but we'll go out there once we've had a look at the rest of the property. That sofa is huge as well. So you've got so much space for living. Could even have your living area there if you wanted to and you're dining in there. Um, you could really configure this to how you want to. So we'll go down first of all into the cellars and then we'll do the, the other two floors and have a look at the garden then afterwards. 
so as we head down here it's a great space for storage so <clears throat> we've got this hallway area here um, and then we've got, I'm going to catch myself in the mirror here, I'll try not to. We've got a, um, a WC down here, so wash hands, hand basin and um, WC. And then we've got our cellar chambers. So these um, haven't been tanked or converted, so there is further potential for development down here. And honestly, they are such a fantastic size. So in here, you've got the original flooring down here as well, which again is gorgeous. We've got our boiler located there as well, which was fitted in 2020 um, and is still also under warranty. Decent head height in here. I mean, I'm only five foot three, so it's not, <laughs> not too bad for me. But again, so this is under the extension bit of the kitchen. So you've got a window there out to the back as well. But as you can see, there's just loads and loads and loads of space. Um, I could see this as, um, you know, a cinema room, a games room, a man cave, a work from home office, a play area. There's just loads of potential. So that's two chambers there and then in here we've got a further um check i mean this would make a great wine store wouldn't it here and then we've got a further chamber in here as well um so again you could knock that through or you know the uh, the world is your oyster okay so then let's head up to our first floor Again, really nice. We've got the uh, the rods on the staircase. Again, very in keeping with the Victorian style. And then as we head on to our first floor, we have three bedrooms and a bathroom. So the bathroom is here. Again, fitted with a Victorian style suite. Again, I love the tiled flooring. We've got bath, which is freestanding with the claws. Shower over. Again, double-ended with your taps in the middle there. Again, this gorgeous panelling, Victorian heated towel rail. And then our biggest bedroom on this floor is located to the rear. Again, look at that gorgeous fireplace. Great height ceilings. We've got double glazed sash window to the rear there as well. What I will do is just give you a quick sneak peek, but we do have aerial drone shots, so do have a look at those online as well. So that's what would we, we'd call that bedroom two. And then we have bedroom three. Again, really nice. Reclaimed fireplace there, again, great height ceilings, replica ceiling rows, cast iron radiator, nice big window, again, the sash style, loads and loads of natural light in here. So we've also got fantastic transport links. So we've got the, um, the motorway just on our doorstep, not too far from several metro Metrolink stops as well. So this is the smallest of the bedrooms. Could definitely still fit a double in here. It's currently used as an office. Again, nice big window. There we go. And then last but not least, we have the dormer, which was done in February, March 24. So only just, and I'm sure you will agree, has created a phenomenal space. So first of all, huge window there, overlooking the rooftops and treetops of sail. So fantastic views, but just let me spin you around here and show you this space. Like I say, it's just been finished. You can smell the fresh carpet. We've got the ceiling spotlights. It's a great space. Big king size bed there, dressing area, wardrobes, the world is your oyster with this space here. Again, nice big window to the side there as well. And then we've got our ensuite. So it's got the contemporary black fittings in here, 
We've got a nice big double shower cubicle there with two shower heads. We've got our floating WC. We've got our wash hand basin. And then we've got our full size heated towel rail there as well. And then what we've also got here is, so this door here, normally closed over, is storage right the way over, in fact, there we go, right the way over there, loads and loads of storage for your suitcases, your Christmas tree, everything else. So it does obviously have limited head height, but we have really in here utilised all of the space. I absolutely love this room. As a, as a main bedroom, this is just amazing. And again, those views over the treetops of sale. So let's head on back down stairs and into our garden. So we've got outstanding schooling. Like I say, we've got Park Road Primary School, which is literally located almost adjacent to the property. Uh, we've got other outstanding primaries and secondary schools as well. So we've got Sale Grammar, which is also close. In fact, just before we do, just another quick sneak in here and then back into my favourite room. I mean, every time I do that, I just think, wow, love it. And then onto our raised patio area. So as I said, we've got all porcelain tiles here. I love the unobstructed views with the glass balustrade as well. And you can see it's all green, not overlooked at all. So as we head down here again, we've got Indian stone paved patio area, artificial lawn, so low maintenance. It is lighted throughout the garden as well, so it does give a real nice ambience um, when those are lit. We've got the gated access there, which takes us back round to the front, our detached garage, greenhouse there, and then we've got these raised flower beds as well. And as you can see, you've got the lighting in there. Bit of storage under there. That's the window to the cellar there as well. <clears throat> And then we'll take you back here and show you the back of the house. We've also got this raised deck area there, where, as you can see, the current owner's got a hot tub there. So perfect prime spot there for a, uh, for a hot tub. And that just about concludes our tour of Park Road. So if you would like to arrange a viewing, please call the team on 0161 519 8855. That's 0161 519 8855. Or alternatively, you can email sales at thepropertyman.co.uk. That's sales at thepropertyman.co.uk. Thank you.